an overwhelming 86% of Express readers demanded the Prime Minister ditch her deal in an online poll which received more than 15,500 responses in a little over 24 hours. Just 10.5% of those who took part backed the Brexit terms negotiated by Mrs May. The sweeping rejection comes just days before the deal faces a crunch vote in the House of Commons. MPs will decide on Tuesday whether Britain will leave the European Union on Mrs May's terms or whether the government must rapidly rethink its approach to the split. More than 100 Tory MPs have already publicly stated they will vote against the deal. And if it is defeated as anticipated, ministers will have just 21 days to return to Parliament and set out what they plan to do next. Downing Street has said there is no plan B in place, with the Prime Minister herself insisting that rejecting her deal would mean leaving the EU on World Trade Organization rules. But work and pension secretary Amber Rudd today raised the possibility of leaving on Norway plus terms or holding a second referendum if the government's deal dies in the Commons. Meanwhile, opponents of Mrs May's deal have continued to pile on the pressure ahead of next week's crucial vote. In the latest sign of the unrest within the Tory ranks, an aide to Defence Secretary Gavin Williams and quitting protest at the Prime Minister's deal. Colchester MP Will Quince hit out at the backstop plan to avoid a hard border with Ireland, warning it could result in the UK being tied to the negotiating table for years. Former Brexit Secretary David Davis today warned her deal would be voted down by MPs because it would relegate Britain to the status of a subordinate rule taker until we agree to anything in desperation to get out of the situation. Speaking to Sky News, he said, I think that the deal will be rejected because it's seen by everybody to leave us as rule takers. To leave us as a subordinate and not actually answer the questions or meet the promises either in our manifesto or in the referendum. Hopefully they will have substantive talks, we have lots of ideas of the sorts of things they could do to improve where we are now. I think she'll go back to the EU, I think they will talk to her. The outcome of that is that she'll have to come back to Parliament again and hopefully this time with a deal we will accept. As of 8.15 pm today, 15,516 people had voted in Express.co Expo on Theresa May's Brexit deal. Those taking part were asked the question, is it time to ditch the deal? The results as of 8.15 pm were, yes, 13,396 no, 1,637 don't know, 483.